Hi, this is Rody, and today we will explore Darwin by Paul Johnson. Darwin, subtitle, Portrait of a Genius. Paul Johnson is uh, an acclaimed historian of extraordinary range, who is also the best-selling author of biographies like Socrates, Jesus, and Napoleon. I personally read uh, Jesus and Socrates and found both of them really captivating, just like uh, this one. And uh, the reason I think that uh, biographies are so important to read uh, when you want to self-actualize and realize your ultimate human potential is that these great people who have uh, shaped the world we live in now, the, uh, with their discoveries, their inventions, their uh, accomplishments and their ideas, they uh, truly show by the example of their own lives what is possible for us. And uh, they, these people have the pos uh, reading these biographies enables us to summon up the courage that we possibly couldn't have uh, created for ourselves because of all the doubts that we have and the fears we have about what we have been able to do in the past so we might not be able to do anything more in the future. And uh, the thing I really love about uh, Paul Johnson is that he's such a great storyteller. So he weaves the uh, life of his uh, biographies into these narratives instead of having just a compilation of dry facts which uh, doesn't really uh, fit well together. And uh, one, uh, one narrative I liked especially well, and that's uh, about one of the fears that Darwin had throughout his uh, entire life. Because, uh, as uh, you might know, he was uh, the man who created the theory of evolution, which uh, states that there were, he didn't just say it directly, but we might have descended from the apes. And all life forms are basically uh, having these small changes in their makeup through millions of years. In other words, it might not be God who created us and put us on this earth, but something else, the force of evolution. And uh, as he was a child, Darwin could see that there were these people who s uh, shared their ideas about how God might not exist, but uh, something else might be true about reality. And then these crowds would gather and actually go and hang these people who spoke against God. So uh, that would uh, haunt him for his entire lifetime, since his theory that he came up with uh, on his journey with uh, the HMS Beagle, really kind of indirectly states that there might be a possibility that something else shapes our world and uh, our lives, except from God. Although he might not have said it directly, that God does not exist. But uh, anyway, I haven't read the book yet, Origin of Species, but uh, I probably will in a month or two or a few years. But anyway, Darwin had this uh, fear of uh, being hanged himself for speaking against God. And the, not, that's not enough. But uh, his wife also was uh, extremely devoted to God. And uh, that created another fear that he might actually hurt her wife deeply by sharing his theories. So uh, that led, uh, might have led to a lot of procrastination throughout his life, which uh, Paul talks about in the book, which might have been a small weakness. But uh, he eventually came out with the theory in his book, The Origin of Species. And interestingly enough, it was uh, warmly welcomed by almost everybody in the public. Almost nobody criticized him for it, which he was so afraid of. But, uh, and uh, even his wife seemed to uh, have liked it, liked it, if I got the point right in the book. So that's uh, just one of the narratives that you see in the book of uh, Darwin's life. Charles Darwin, and uh, you'll also learn about uh, the rigorous routine that he had for himself. He was a man who really liked routines. He will also see some of the letters he and his wife wrote to each other. And that's also another thing I like about Paul Johnson's books, is that he adds a lot of, he adds the voice of the person he is writing, writing a biography of, so we can really get close to their character. And uh, you'll also see uh, Yes, you'll see, uh, especially about the journey on the HMS Beagle, 
where um, Darwin would discover an innumerable, innumerable amount of new species, which he would then catalog and uh, capture all these insects and uh, species of uh, animals, and eventually develop his theory of evolution, which he would spend, I think it's 20 years, or perhaps even more, uh, fleshing out and giving more examples to why that theory might actually be true, the theory of evolution. So all in all, if uh, you like learning about the lives of these people who have changed and shaped, shaped the world we are living in now with their ideas, inventions and discoveries and accomplishments, then I think you'll love Darwin by Paul Johnson. Right, that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Then um, please uh, like this video if you did, share it with some friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Also, I uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I enjoyed your company, hope you enjoyed mine, and I wish you an awesome day.